basically this generation is more liberal, more tolerant, more democrat leaning than the one before. It's not just because they're young. For another point of view, it's hard news with Russell Brown and Wemo on Kiwi. He's over at the Public Address blog, public, publicaddress.net, in the hard news section there. Also the Media 7 show on TVNZ7. Morning, Russell Brown. Good morning. Uh, first up, talking about um, Cameron Slater, a.k.a. Whale Oil, who yesterday was convicted in court of a number of charges of breaching name suppression. Um, he was fighting these charges to the last, wasn't he? Yeah, but it has to be said that, that the arguments put forward in court were fairly ambitious. Uh, and um, I think were taken seriously by Judge Harvey, um, who was clearly interested in, you know, in the issue and in, in writing uh, a good and thorough decision, which is, is what he's done. But, um, but I mean, his, his basically, Whale Law's lawyer was uh, making the contention for various reasons that there was no case to answer, and the judge said, well, yes, there is. Yeah. And he uh, certainly made an example out of him. Yeah, yeah, although, I mean, I would think there'll, there'll be enough uh, people who think Cameron Slater's doing the right thing um, to, uh, I mean, he's already started an appeal, I gather, uh, uh, to um, make up the, you know, the, the fine there. Um, it's, what, nine, nine offences at $750 each, uh, and the costs aren't very much in this case. Now, I, I mean, I've got to wonder, and only, I guess, he can answer this question, is, is what, what was his motivation? Was it, um, you know, that he, that he firmly believed in, in what he was doing, or was it just to get um, hits on his site? A um, bit of both, I think. Absolutely mm. a bit of both. He's, he, he is, um, by his own um, admission, mentally unwell, uh, and he is quite clearly an attention seeker. I mean, the, you don't have to go far to find um, evidence for that. Uh, so he was trying to attract attention to himself and to his blog. Uh, he may also have had genuine beliefs um, uh, as to the way that name suppression operates. Uh, but when you look at how random and stupid some of what he did was, I mean, yeah. there's, there's one case in there where he has identified a victim. Uh, and that's just unacceptable. Uh, and, you know, as a general principle... Basically, do we want our law to be applied by judges who are accountable or by unaccountable uh, mentally unwell attention seekers? Yeah. Uh, and I mean, if, if, <coughs> if you go to Kiwi Blog today, you'll find plenty of people thinking that, you know, that, uh, that he's a hero. I don't think so. Mm. Uh, and really, you know, the, the, it's no surprise that he was, having been charged, it's no surprise that he was found guilty. Um, probably the yeah the best thing to come out of it is Judge David Harvey's um, 77 page decision, which is really quite interesting and well written. And uh, as Rick Shearer has pointed out on his blog this morning, does actually um, very firmly uh, decide that uh, putting something on a blog is publication, yeah. it's not conversation. And obviously he does have um, a certain amount of fans, but I'm constantly surprised whenever I see him being a commentator in mainstream media on panels and, and whatnot on television. Um, when the, the very few times that I've been over to Whale Oil, it either seems to be um, you know, offensive material or just plain childish and stupid. Yeah, yeah, and there's lots and lots of that. And, and there's lots of bullying, a lot of it at the expense of women. Um, I, I think you know, his blog is quite alarmingly misogynist at times. There was some terrible stuff that written about Helen Clark. Yeah, yeah, there, exactly. And, and time and of, I think insinuating she was a lesbian or there was some yeah, kind of cult yeah. or whatever. It was just weird. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, one, one of his um, most you know noisiest supporters, Clint Heine, is of course the um, ACT Party member who posted uh, some photoshopped shemale porn of Helen Clark on his blog. So these are the kind of people you're dealing with. Yeah. So why? So why does why does the mainstream media feed this? I mean, I why, why, why do they allow this? You know? um, I, I think because um, spectacle and controversy work well in the media, um, you know, as does conflict. And the guy's a walk, walking conflict zone. He's in conflict with himself half the time. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, you, you would hope that uh, they'll stop using him, um, you know, the, because there's, there's a degree of everyone exploiting this guy as yeah, well. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, there's, res, there's some respects in which he's a, he's a pathetic figure. Hmm. He really doesn't quite know what he's doing. And he, you know, almost said as much um, that he can't help himself you know, in court. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 it is frustrating because it's, it's not even like, like he's a very good commentator. He generally doesn't know very much. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, but he's yeah. made various threats of violence, you know, over the years on the internet. And like I said, he's been particularly nasty to um, at least one woman I know, and and certainly some others as well. He, you know. I don't think we we should be indulging people like this. No, nope. <clears throat> all right, we won't indulge it anymore. Yeah. Um, also, um, the big issue um, this morning that um, there's a bit of concern around the place about some of the powers that this new earthquake bill gives the government out to um, 2012. <laughs> yes, the astonishing powers for, for a bill ran through under extreme urgency. But supported by um, both ACT and the Greens. Yes, yeah, although the Greens, to their credit, did have some qualms about it, and it appears that... Uh, the government did go and consult with Labour, who said, you want to have this in place for five years? So this only runs now runs through you know, for, uh, until, uh, for two years, until uh, this time 2012, uh, at which uh, point a sunset clause kicks in and Jerry Brownlee will no longer be um, Henry VIII, basically. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's an extraordinary piece of law, and they did not need to do it. And every legal geek on the local internet is absolutely up in arms. Um, Graham Edgeler on public address, who is extremely thorough and considered and normally takes weeks to, um, to write one of his posts, not one out last night. Yeah. And he said, yeah, it's, um, it's unusual for him. But um, th- this is an astonishing piece of law. And it's also um, a need for some of these minor parties like the Greens to be seen to be uh, doing something for the people, people of Canterbury. Because if, if yeah. they didn't, I guess the media would come down on them like a, like a chimney. Exactly. Um, and no one wants to be seen as, um, as blocking the interests of the people of Canterbury. Uh, and you can understand that, but boy, this is... You know, as Graham points out, pop along to publicaddress.net and you'll see Graham's post there. Um, you know, this, you know, as you said, first question, why does the government, without first going to Parliament, need the power to unilaterally decide that murder isn't a crime in Auckland to assist with the reconstruction of Christchurch? Mm-hmm. Um, they probably won't make that decision, but they can under this law, yeah. uh, and the courts can't review it. Yeah. It's an absolutely astonishing piece of law, and um, it, it really... I, I think doesn't speak well for the democratic instincts of the kind of people who would draft it and get it ran through. Look, you know, I think everyone accepts that there will be some laws and regulations will need to be relaxed in order to uh, you know, pursue the reconstruction of Christchurch. But good grief! <laughs> um, the, the, yeah, there are already pe- people have pointed out ways in which this. Uh, could be done without it being a constitutional outrage, which which is what it is now. Mm. Well, that conversation happening over right now at publicaddress.net. Thanks, Russell. Cheers. Cheers. Russell Brown uh, from the Hard News blog and also the Media 7 show.